Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on solving equations with uh, combining like terms. It's for our new integrated one, uh, 1A uh, math classes. So this is lesson uh, uh, 8 on unit 1. So lesson 1A, I like to call it. So there's our common core strand here. So how do we know what like terms are and, and how, we, how, how do we combine the like terms? So we're going to, this, this, that's what this lesson is about, solving equations. So solving equations uh, with like terms. So let's just jump right into it and solve, you guys. Okay, like equations, uh, I'm sorry, like, like terms are, are like this one, this negative 5, and there's an imaginary um, 1 right there, and I'll put it in there right now. Those guys are like terms, okay? So the ones that have the x's with them are like terms. So these numbers in front of them are called coefficients, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and combine the coefficients. Negative 5 plus 1. Negative 5 plus 1 is going to be negative 4. Okay, so it's negative 4x equals 16. You guys have done this before, I think. So now we can go ahead and divide both sides by that negative 4 right there. Because this says negative 4 times x. So I divide. I do the opposite of multiply. I divide by negative 4. So I put a negative 4 underneath both of them right there. Okay, and then over here, those are going to cancel. And 16 divided by negative 4, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So I get uh, x equals negative 4. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, try it with this one here. Okay, so uh, here uh, I got negative 2x minus x. I'm going to add the opposite. When we subtract, we add the opposite. So this is like minus 1x. So I'm going to add the opposite. So I'm going to make it plus a negative 1x right there. Okay, so negative 2x plus negative 1x. And if you uh, saw the cats and dogs video right here, I'm going to combine negative 2 plus negative 1. And those are both negative. So if you remember the cats and dogs, those are like dogs, you guys. So dogs are negative. So a negative 2 dogs uh, plus one more dog right there is going to get me negative 3 dogs right there. So so, uh, and if you didn't see that video, I'm just combining like terms, adding the coefficients there. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. Okay, and then we're going to divide both sides by that negative 3, just like over the other. We get uh, x equals negative 4 again. All right, try to stay away from it on this one. All right, this one, this one we don't get a nice whole number here. That's okay. So here I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the opposite. So it's going to be plus a negative 5x right there. That's all I did. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and combine those like terms right there. This negative 3 plus negative 5 gets me negative 8. Okay, um, so now I'm just going to divide both sides by negative 8. Okay, so when I divide by negative 8, now uh, 75 divided by 8, is, it doesn't go in there evenly. 72 does. Uh, 9 times 8 is 72. So just leave it like that as an improper fraction, but always float the negative out in front of the fraction. Never leave it in the denominator. Here in my class, I'd probably ding you a point here and there. Uh, it's supposed to be tacky to leave a fraction in, or the negative in the denominator. So float it out in front right there. Now, if you want to change it to a mixed number, I did this on my board in my class right there. I divide the bottom number into the top number. 8 goes into 75 9 times, so I'm going to multiply 9 times 8 and get 72. 9 times 8 equals 72, and then I'm going to draw a line underneath that and subtract. So when I subtract those guys, I get 3, and then we start uh, at the top. So it's going to be 9 and 3 eighths, except don't forget uh, it's negative. Don't forget that negative. My 1A kids especially really want like forgetting the negative, so try not to forget that negative. So it's negative 9 and 3 eighths. So, so you can write it as an improper fraction, uh, negative 75 eighths, or a mixed number, negative 9 and 3 eighths. Okay, that's the only one I'm going to give you a mixed number on. All the other ones are good. Okay, here, i got to combine the like terms, you guys. So I'm going to combine 3x uh, plus the 1x is 4x right there. Okay, and then a couple of lessons ago, back up, so now I'm going to subtract off the 5 on both sides, so there we go, and be careful, uh, negative 11 minus 5 is negative 11 plus a negative 5, I wrote that right here, okay, negative 11 plus negative 5 is negative 16, okay, and then so I have this 4x right here, 4x equals negative 16, divide both sides by 4, and you get x equals negative 4, okay, try another one. Okay, here again, I'm going to combine the like terms, 4x uh, minus 3x. 4x minus 3x is 1x, okay? You can go 4x plus negative 3x. It's still 1x. And then I didn't do anything with the minus 9, so there's the minus 9 right there. So now I'm going to get rid of this minus 9, <clears throat> and I'm going to add 9 to both sides. So plus 9 plus 9, and I get 1x equals 10, or just x equals 10, okay? All right, easy enough. How about this one? Try this one. Okay, here we have uh, variables on both sides of the equation. So what I like to do 
is put the, the variables on the left hand side and if I have any numbers over here I'll put the numbers over here so I see I got a variable on the right hand side so what I'm gonna do is subtract it off on both sides I'm gonna minus 3x from 3x and subtract 3x from 5x so what remember whatever you do to one side of the equation you do to the other side of the equation both sides one of my students like to say BS for both sides okay so I'm gonna subtract 3x from BS both sides alright there we go uh, right there okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and do 5x minus 3x is 2x and then these cancel oops I didn't put a cancel right there 3x minus 3x those guys cancel let me go ahead and do that real quick these guys cancel that 3x and that 3x cancels so 2x equals 10 divided by 2 we get x equals 5 okay all right this one here okay I'm gonna show you a couple of ways on this one here okay what I'm gonna do first is subtract off uh, 6x on both sides now be careful negative 2x when I subtract 6x be careful it's gonna be negative 8x okay negative 2 plus a negative 6 is negative 8 so negative 2 minus 6 here it is over here negative 2 minus 6 is the same as negative 2 plus negative 6 which is negative 8 Okay, then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 8. And when I divide a negative divided by a negative, it comes out positive, you guys. So x equals 3. Let me show you that problem a different way, you guys. Here's the original problem. And what I did is I just put this on this side and put this on this side. That's called the symmetric property. I just flipped them around the equal sign. So here's the 6x minus 24, and here's the negative 2x. So what I'm going to do now is... Uh, add the 24 to both sides. I'm going to get rid of that 24 and put it over there. Remember, if I have any numbers on the left, I like to have them on the right. Okay, and at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add 2x to both sides. Watch this, you guys. So then there, the negative 24 and positive 24 cancel. Over here, the negative 2x and positive 2x cancel. 6x plus 2x is 8x equals 24, and you get x equals 3. Okay, let's do this one here. Same thing. So here I'm going to go ahead and subtract 5x from 7x and 5x from 5x. And I don't want to have this number on this side, so I'm going to subtract it out and put it on that side right there. Okay, so here we go. So I did, uh, the, I changed these guys to red, and I, did, I just subtracted out this, put it underneath the like term over there. And I changed this to blue, and I subtracted out that, because I don't want numbers over here, I want it over here. And I put that underneath the 11 because that doesn't have the x. Those are like terms, okay? 7x minus 5x is 2x. Those cancel. Those cancel. Negative 11 minus 5 is negative 16, okay? And then divide by 2, and we get x equals negative 8. All right, let's try this one. Okay, again, let's put this negative 8x, add it out over here. So it's going to be plus 8x over here, and I'm going to subtract 59 from both sides. What's 5 minus 59? Okay, 5 minus 59 when I do that, and so what I did is I just did plus 8x to both sides, plus 8x, plus 8x, and I did minus 59 from both sides, so we did BS to both sides, okay, and then so I get uh, 19 plus 8 is 27, and 5 minus uh, uh, 59 is, is negative 54, and so we get uh, negative 2 on that, okay, divide by 27. All right, here. Okay, these guys are both on the same side, so what I'm going to do is combine like terms. Negative 14 plus a negative 15 is negative 29. Okay, now I'm going to add out the 23 on both sides, and 174, and let's see. I know 9 times, um, nine times 6 is 54, and since that ends in 4 right there, I'm guessing 6 times. Let's see, 30 times 6 is 180. This is close to 180, so it's going to be 6 times right there, okay? So I get x equals negative 6. All right, let's try a couple more here, you guys. Okay, this one here. Okay, here, a uh, real common uh, 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 step people want to do is distribute. Well, you don't have to. These are like terms. I'm going to go ahead and combine those. 3 plus 2 is just 5, and 2x times 5 is 10x. So 10x equals 40, so x equals 4. Okay, one more, you guys. Do the same thing. 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3x three equals 12, so x equals 4. All right, I hope that helps you guys. Take care. I hope you're having a great year, by the way.